Today, we'll be looking at how Swarm Intelligence is making simple tech much smarter. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. As a collective, simple creature following simple rules will exhibit a remarkable amount of sophistication, performance, and even imagination. Identified as swarm intelligence, this trait is present in nature, but researchers have recently started to use it to transform various areas, such as robotics, data processing, medicine, and blockchains. Ants, for example, can only perform a small number of tasks, but an ant colony can build bridges, establish food and intelligence superhighways, fight war, and enslave other ant species, all of which are beyond the understanding of a single ant. Likewise, schools of fish, flocks of birds, beehives, and other animals display activity that is suggestive of higher intelligence planning that does not currently occur. It's going to happen through a mechanism called stigma. Simply placed, a minor shift by a member of a group leads other members to behave accordingly, leading to a new pattern of actions. This is also incredibly useful for drone swarms. Recently, an airline out of China created a swarm of a thousand drones that not only illuminated the sky with vivid, complex displays, but also showed the ability to improvise and overcome errors entirely independently. Furthermore, the University of Cambridge announced their vision of what they termed the energy-neutral Internet of Drones. Amazingly, this drone swarm will take the opportunity to exchange information or resources with other drones who have not received contact or are running low on energy. Military units all over the world are doing this as well. Last year, the U.S. Department of Defense revealed that it had successfully tested a swarm of miniature drones that could perform complex missions cheaper and more effectively. Micro drones demonstrated advanced swarm behaviors such as collective decision-making, adaptive flight training, and self-healing. Some analysts say that at least 30 nations are currently developing drone swarms and also submersible drones for military operations, including intelligence gathering, missile defense, precise missile attacks, and improved connectivity. NASA also aims to deploy small spacecraft swarms for space travel, and the medical sector is looking to use nanobot swarms for precise drug delivery, microsurgery, targeting pathogens, and biological sensors. What happens if humans are the ants? The power of every blockchain derives from the scale and diversity of the culture that embraces it. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin are powered by people who use, invest in, and most notably, mine them to make their blockchains run. Without an involved group or swarm, their blockchains will melt away. As seen from a high altitude, a blockchain works furiously, like an ant colony, in that it will naturally find the most effective way to transfer large quantities of information. Miners compete with each other to carry out the complicated calculations required to add another block, for which the winner is awarded with the native currency of the blockchain and accepted payments. Of course, the miner with the most powerful machines is more likely to win the award, making the winner's opportunity to exploit and even earn more incentives. Over time, less and less miners will remain, where the winners will be able to do more jobs more effectively in much the same way as ants create superhighways. Furthermore, a company named Unanimous AI has created algorithms that enable people to make predictions together. So far, the AI algorithms and their human participants have made some remarkably correct predictions, such as the first four Kentucky Derby winners, the Oscar winners, the Stanley Cup winners, and others. The more people participating in the swarm, the greater their predictive ability. To be sure, this is not a group consensus prediction. Rather, the colony of humans uses algorithms to input their thoughts in real time, allowing micro changes to the rest of the swarm and inputs of other participants. Studies demonstrate that swarm intelligence consistently outperforms humans and crowds operating without algorithms. Although this is just the tip of the iceberg, some have proposed that swarm intelligence will revolutionize how doctors evaluate patients or how products are sold to customers. It also may be an important step in eventually developing AI. Although swarm intelligence is an important part of the success of many animals, it is only a matter of time before humans take advantage of its effectiveness. When an ant discovers a food supply, the direction with pheromones is labeled. This draws other ants to the road, leads them to the food supply, and allows them to follow the same path with more pheromones. Over time, the more effective the route will be, the quicker and simpler it will be, the more ants will enter the food, and the more pheromones will be on the way. Thus, it seems like a more intellectual person has taken the right course, but it has arisen from the minor, basic improvements created by individuals. So what does this mean to humans? Well, a lot. 
Researchers have developed various algorithms and metaheuristics over the last few decades, such as optimization of ant colonies and optimization of particle swarms, and they are fast-tracking. Robots of the Hive a robot will swarm on the same principles as an ant colony. Each participant has a basic set of guidelines to obey, leading to self-organization and self-sufficiency. Researchers have developed a small swarm of simple robots that can spell and play piano. Robots cannot speak, but based solely on the location of the surrounding robots, are able to use their specially created algorithm to decide the best direction to accomplish their tasks. What's your take on this? Do you think hive mind robotics can be dangerous? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity and I'll see you on the next one.